Hey everybody, it's Jax. I'm back and welcome to another episode of All Jaxed Up. This is a show where I bring you the funniest videos in a clip show style format that is sure to make you laugh. Now before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. It's only gonna cost you a click. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when a new episode is ready just for you. And most important, comment below. I love seeing what you guys have to say. So let's get started. Now, first up, I wanna introduce a new segment, World of What The? news from around the world. In Pennsylvania, there's a television news station that allows their callers to call in and talk back about the stories of the day. This is proof positive why some people need to keep their opinions to themselves. Until we started putting into traffic circles. Because on the counter, you want to know why? When people go round and round in circles, it causes disturbance in the atmosphere. It causes tornadoes. Okay, so everybody put your blenders away because you know they whip up hurricanes. And don't use your trampoline anymore because you're causing earthquakes. And stop flushing your toilets because you flooded the Midwest. And please, please don't ever use your stove because remember... Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> that was a blast from the past. And that big ass bear used to scare me when I was a kid. A grocery store in Canada has found a very unique way of making their customers go green. They don't want to offer plastic bags anymore. They want to encourage you to bring your own from home. However, plastic bags are still available for a fee of five cents and a little embarrassment. When you get plastic bags, you'll walk out with something that says the Adult Video Emporium or the Colon Care Corp. Could you imagine taking your potluck dinner over to your friend's house in a bag that says Dr. Toe's wart ointment? <laughs> I mean, they could become collector's items one day, though. Okay, y'all, let's hit the streets with Jimmy Kimmel. I love these segments from Jimmy. This time, he goes out into the streets and he simply asks, Can you tell me what time it is? Can I get a question for you? Sure. Can you look at this and tell me what time it is? Oh, no. <laughs> no. I <laughs> can't. It is 4, like 37. Is that okay? It's uh, 2. Oh, I want to say 40. No, not 45. Chris, let me ask you this. Where are you going to college? UC Arlington. You want to say anything to your teachers back in college? Not at all, because they're going to be so disappointed that I have not read a clock like this since elementary school. <laughs> let me see. Okay. Oh, man. It is 8, 30, 8, 20, 8, 8, 8, 17. No? Okay, I know we have the convenience of looking at our phones and our Apple watches, but do you even know how time works anymore? But wait, the kicker is this next question. A.M. or P.M.? <laughs> Doofus, it's daylight. You really had to stop and think? <laughs> okay, cool, okay. <laughs> It's time for my absolute favorite segment. What did you say? Why am I going to go call the sabotager, the one so I can hear her say saboteur? The saboteur. Thank you, Erica. Did y'all see Erica? I mean, that is me all day all day people want to call me the grammar police i am the grammar police okay they sit right in my door in my furniture and talk about me all while they're there and what they're gonna somebody named james they're gonna get to come over he can take this down he can do this to her i feel threatened jeff i don't I mean, jeff. just a second jeff just a second i am jeff i have bugs growing inside me very easy for my fucking wedding is that contagious i hope so see this is why I always say grammar can make you or make you look dumb. I've said nothing negative about Savannah. Why she chose me out of all the moms to walk up to and say that is beyond my recollection. It's beyond. 
beyond my recollection and my comprehension and my basic skill set. I'm not interested. I know you're not, Tamar. I'm not interested. You're not interested. That's the problem. You're not interested. Hell, I'm not interested either. But I am interested in Tamar's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute to know that Vinny can love someone who's not his own like child. When it is his time to be a father, he's gonna kill it. Say what? Not the baby. He's not gonna kill the baby. He's gonna kill the whole father. <laughs> oh, okay. I get grumpy anything past like 48 hours, you know. I'm like, can't really just have I really like morning sex. Yeah, you know, get some legs and eggs, you know, tits and grits, all that good stuff. <laughs> the shit you say? Legs and eggs? Tits and grits? Well, how about some hash browns and get downs? Or better yet, what about some um pancakes and Booty shakes! <laughs> oh my god, I could use some breakfast right now. What about sex on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being pretty conservative and 10 being anything goes, where would you be? Um, so currently I'm at a zero because I'm a virgin. You've never had any kind of sexual contact? I've never physically had sex. Like there's never been a penis entered into me. Ever. Girl, I applaud your chastity all day long, all day. But it's no excuse for not knowing how to pronounce the word penis. 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 Okay, girl. Okay. My biggest concern about Amber being married at first sight is that there's a lot of things she doesn't know about him. She doesn't know about his family. She doesn't know about his di past dating. She doesn't know about his friends. She doesn't know about anything. Wait a minute. Back that up. What did she say? She doesn't know about his di past dating. Was that a Freudian slip? She doesn't know about his dick. She doesn't know about his dick. She doesn't know about his dick past dating. Oh, Lord. We need to get off the subject of penis. Penis. This next clip breaks down the true meaning of marriage. I mean, if any of y'all are getting ready to get married out there, this is what you need to be thinking about. <laughs> no, let me tell you something. A lot of young men like older women. Yeah, but like is different than marriage. Marriage is about looking into the retirement years and how he's going to change your diapers. <laughs> so I guess the wedding vows would go a little something like this. Darling, I hope I can depend on you to bring tranquility into this marriage. And hopefully I have your assurance that you will attend to my every need. <laughs> And on that note, the final clip of the day. This one comes from The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Now, I promised you guys I'm not going to get religious or political. I'm holding myself to that. Recently, number 45 tweeted out to Donnie Deutsch that he's had some previous issues in shoebiz, and now his show is a disaster. Shoebiz? Really? No, I've heard it's very hard to break into. Shoe biz. I'm sorry, kid. You want to be a star, but that's a crock. You haven't got a chance to deal. Let me give you some wing tech. Stop loafing around and find a new balance. Now, if you excuse me, I got an appointment with Doc Martin. Ugh. That was laced with a wide range of shoe brands. I think he tied that up really nicely. <laughs> Well, that's it. That's all I've got for this episode of All Jacked Up. I really hope you enjoyed it. And again, take the time to subscribe the channel. It's only going to cost you a click. Stop being so damn cheap. <laughs> Don't forget, hit that notification bell and comment, comment, comment away. I really want to hear what you guys have to say. I want to thank you all for watching and I shall see you in the next episode. But until that time, y'all be good. Have a safe 4th of July. Don't go out there shooting off fireworks if you don't know what you're doing, okay? People can get hurt. Wait, stop pulling me. Just, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.